What is up everyone, this is Ken also known as Wiltshire here and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'll be showing guys how to install the Canon EOS utility without using your original disc that came with your camera. The first thing that you need to do is you need to hit the Windows and R key at the same time. This will bring up the Run command window. There will be a text box and what you want to type in that text box is regedit.exe. Once you have typed that into the text box, go ahead and click the OK button. This will bring up the registry editor on Windows. Next, on the left hand side, we need to locate the file folder called hkey underscore local underscore machine. Once you have located that file folder, click the arrow on the left hand side of that folder to expand the folder. Next, locate and expand the software file folder. Once inside the software folder, we need to find and locate a file folder called wow6432 node. Once you have found that file folder, click and expand that file folder as well. With that folder expanded, right click on the wow6432 node file folder and go to new and then key. This will create a new file folder and we need to name this file folder canon. With the canon folder created, we now need to right click on the canon folder and go to new and create a key yet again. This time we have to name this file folder EOS utility. Once you have named that file folder EOS utility, you can now exit the registry editor on Windows. Now all you have to do is download the EOS utility installer. I personally found it very difficult to locate the installer file, so I will be hosting the file in the description of this video. You can click on the link there and download the updater file if you cannot find it for your camera. With the EOS utility updater file downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up. Once you first open it up, you may notice that things are already looking a bit different. Instead of the EOS utility asking you to insert a CD, it will now say it's extracting files. Now what this tutorial has done is it's fooled Windows into thinking that we've already installed the EOS utility and it thinks it's updating the files. With that said, now all you have to do is follow the on-screen prompts for the installer and you will now have the EOS utility installed on your computer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys think this was useful, hit that like button below. I'd very much appreciate that. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tip videos like this. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.